Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is an 18-year-old male who complains of knee pain. They've had an ACL reconstruction. The graph looks like it is intact, but they're having knee pain. Just recently they were playing tennis and uh, felt pain in the knee. So they came in to have the graft evaluated, and it is intact. We can see it coming out of the femur here. Coming down across, it looks like it's completely intact. Somebody could argue, well, is there an increased signal? And there may be some minimal increased signal. There could be just a low-grade ACL uh, graft sprain, but you can have increased signal in a graft normally. And we just really look, is it ruptured? Nope. It looks like it is intact. It does not to be, need to be revised. But the main finding is here in front of the graft, there's this area of mixed signal intensity here on this PD fat set sequence in the front of the graft. We see this on the T1 images very well. Right here, this mound of gray intermediate signal intensity. And this is arthrofibrosis. This is an inflammatory response where they get this mound of scar tissue here in front of the ACL graft. And you call this a cyclops lesion because it looks like an eye. And these patients have stiffness and pain in the knee. And again, then this is a classic example. This gray tissue with mass effect here in the very front of the knee. Limits full knee extension, as you can see here, with this mound of tissue. and causes stiffness and pain. And that's it. So arthrofibrosis of the knee associated with this patient who has had prior ACL reconstruction.